So now this is how we upload an image. Now, in order for us to set it, to set that uploaded image as our profile image is very, very simple. So if we go up here, since we know that once we are here, the file was actually uploaded. Okay. Now what we could do to be more specific is I can take this uploads copy and put it here instead so that the file name is like this okay and then all I, I don't need to add this part I can just say file name so the advantage of this is now we can check if the file exists so if file underscore exists file name so if the file actually exists let's change uh, our database so now here's the interesting part so let's create a new DB uh, class so new database capital letter so now we can say so to make sure at the top here we have the connect.php and we do so now I can say DB and say we are writing to the database now we're going to say db save i think we used save instead of write and then we put in a query as usual so now let's create this query that we're going to make here now the query is quite simple we're going to say update users now users is the table so we are updating the table update users and then we say set like that now you start adding one by one the columns so for example if you want to change the user id you can say set user id is equal to one two three four something like that and then you put a comma and say uh, maybe profile image in this case that's what we are changing is equal to uh, file name okay because the file name contains the 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 path to the file and that's as simple as it is now since we are not changing the user name user id let's uh, leave it at that so say update users set profile image is equal to file name and that's it so you can specify now where to set this because it won't know we've just specified the table so we need to know exactly which row to change since if you go down here you see that there are several users here so we have to know which one now since it's the owner changing this one we're going to use the id that they are currently using and we know how to get the user id since we have the user data right here of the the person who is logged in we're going to use that so i'm going to come here and say uh, set where now remember that this is a string so put uh, single quotes like that so set profile image which is the column is equal to that where user id is equal to we are using that uh, variable user data and then we are going to say open and close bracket we're going to say uh, user data user id now because we're adding these it gets a little bit confusing so what we do is just cut here to make it easier for you to see what's going on so i'm going to say uh, user id is equal to that and then put inverted commas there so inside the user's data because the user's data contains the row of the current user that's using the website so this user id column will be equal to the same here so that's what we are checking for we're saying update the users table set the profile image to be equal to the file name where the user id is equal to that value now you don't need to put inverted commas here because user id is a is a number but uh, just for consistency let's do that and then here there could be several columns uh, several rows that have the same user id so to be very specific and stop it from searching we can just tell it to limit one that way it will change the first one it gets so that's a query 
we initialize the database and then we save it's as simple as that so let's try this thing again one more time and see what happens so let me browse here get this little boy and change now one more thing i didn't uh, specify is the file will be over overwritten to if if it already exists that's number one now number two is if everything worked out well like the file exists after this section we're supposed to redirect our user and we already know how to do that using header location and then we want to redirect to the profile dot php page and then die so let's try that again browse image change and then we come back here now surprise surprise this hasn't changed now that's because if we go to profile.php uh, we have a fixed value down here so let me go where it says find selfie this is where the profile pic is now in the source here on the profile pic we have to put our image okay now let me add some php here just in case because it's not every if this is a new user they won't have an image this column right here uh, this column right here will be empty the way it is right now okay but if i refresh i'm sure i'm going to see that it has updated let me refresh this okay so we see there is the updated image in profile image so we have that but the others are empty so we have to think about the times when it's empty so i'm going to say image is equal to empty like so and then i'll get this very image and put it here instead echo it with php php echo like that and always remember to close the php tags all right and then now we can set it and say if let's check if the user data now remember user data contains our row so we are checking if the profile uh, image profile image column is not equal to empty or instead of checking for this what we would check for is we just check if the file exists we can say if file exists like this i need one more uh, thing there so if the file exists this one so let's remove this not equal to so if it's an empty string the file won't exist of course so if the file exists change the image path to be equal to this same existing file so we started off as an empty string now if the file exists in here uh, assign it to image and then echo image here so let's come back here and see what will happen now so if i refresh the page you see that uh, the profile image has actually changed so i can click change here which has become simple now and go back here and uh, i can simply add any other images which i actually don't have so let me add this one with the cartoons and come back you see now i'm sure you're noticing a pattern here which is that the images are all over the place some of them are wide some of them are high and it's loading full images without reducing the size and so on now the problem with having a website where everyone is uploading images as big as 5 mb 10 mbs it's going to become difficult for others to access your website so in that regard we're going to look at how to actually cut uh, trim the images to make them smaller and also crop them to make them square images so that they don't become squashed like this okay so we're going to do that in the next video